Game 10 of 49ers Game Plan presented by Zenny, the official eyewear of the San Francisco 49ers. I'm your host, Cabo Ramirez. Let's begin by zooming in to this week's must matchup presented by Zenny, the official eyewear of the San Francisco 49ers. And for that, we have to focus on Christian McCaffrey and Foya Sande Oluwakin who leads the Jaguars in total tackle. It's going to be a test for both players going head-to-head. -head. And now, let's hear from head coach Kyle Shanahan, who sits down with the voice of the 49ers, Greg Papa, ahead of this Week 10 matchup. Well, Coach, when you watch the tape of the Cincinnati game, you said you thought your team looked slow, tired, lacked energy on tape. So when you watch them on the practice field off the bye week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, are they fast? Are they fresh? Is the energy level back? Oh, without a doubt. I mean, you come off a bye week, you better be fresh. And we needed that. I mean, those three games there uh, were some tough ones. You know, I know we didn't play our best, but I really thought watching the Cincy game on that short week from that Monday night game, uh, the two East Coast trips, you could see it on the silent tape, and um, that's not a good thing. So getting some rest here really helped. We got it back. But um, when Sunday comes, we're going to have three more games in 12 days. So we got to get through all three of those, and then hopefully that three-day rest after that Thursday night game will get us back into the groove for that Tuesday, and we'll be ready to roll the rest of the year. Well, when you have a bye week, you obviously look ahead of the opponents. You have more time to lock in on Jacksonville, but you're also self-scout, and you're right in the middle of the season of your own team, five and three, eight games down. you got nine more to go. So when you look back on the first half of the year, Kyle, what did you see from your team? I mean, I saw lots of things. So I could go in forever, but um, you know, I thought you know we came out obviously strong with our record going five and zero. Uh, I didn't think it was as good as maybe advertised. You know, I thought you know, we came out and handled some people pretty well, um, but there were some things that I thought we got away with. Uh, then we've gone into this three-game stretch, and some of the things that we got away with earlier um, turned into a couple turnovers. We've had a couple more quarterbacks who have got hot, and um, it became a lot harder. We still had a chance to win those at the end, but we didn't get it done. And that's why we're just trying to tighten everything up now, play a little bit better, and really glad to get some of our guys back, hopefully this week. And um, being five and three, sitting here with everything in front of us. Let's let's get into a little bit deeper. We'll, we'll start with the defense. I mean, during the three-game losing streak, you're giving up about 400 yards a game, which is not new. And the running attack against you, 122 and a half. Cleveland came out and ran that toss crack, the pin and pull on you. 